at night, I dream about having big, rounded, sculpted, beautiful shoulder boulders. It's still one of my favorite muscle groups to work and I'm still focusing on building a more rounded shoulder. So a lot of my shoulder workouts are focused more on the rear delts rather than the front. I hope that you guys enjoy this workout. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a workout with WIT again. Without further ado, let's get into the workout. Alrighty guys, for this first superset, all we will need is one dumbbell. Now a superset is when we complete two exercises back to back with little to no rest in between. Now I'm starting off with my all time favorite side delt exercise and that is a leaning dumbbell lat raise. Find something to hold on to in the gym, whether that's a pole or the bar that I'm using here on the cable machine, and I want you to lean away from it. As you raise the dumbbell up, I like to bring my pinky just slightly above my thumb, and I'm bringing my arm up to horizontal, keeping a slight bend in my elbow to help protect it. Now I'm grabbing a bit of a heavier dumbbell and I'm moving straight into single arm rotating shoulder press. Now the reason why I love single arm work is it allows me to focus on each muscle individually and I love doing it standing here like I am doing because it allows me to engage my core a lot more than when you're throwing both dumbbells over your head. So squeeze your core tight, have a nice stance that's going to keep you balanced. As you press the dumbbell up, I like to rotate my palm outward, bringing my elbow down in front of me and rotating my palm back towards me. After we complete the 10 leaning dumbbell lateral raises on each arm and eight single arm rotating front shoulder presses, that is one set I like to rest for about one to two minutes in between each set. I like to keep my heart rate up, but you do want to have that recovery time in between these sets. So watch that recovery time. We are going to repeat this for three complete sets. Moving straight into our second superset. I'm sure you all know by now how much I love the cable machine for shoulder boulder day, okay? Starting off with underhand front raise. <clears throat> so you're going to awkwardly grab the bar like I did, you know, you pull it through your legs nice and awkwardly. You're going to want to use a split stance here and lean a little bit forward. That way the cable will not touch your hoo-ha, okay? You guys complain about that, but that's what you got to do. Split stance, lean forward, the cable will not touch your area. On the underhand, you want your palms facing up. Keep a slight bend in your elbows, raise to horizontal, and then we are going to release it for my all-time number one rear delt exercise right now. Just a bent over rear delt pull. We really want to hit all angles of the delts, so rear delts are so dang important, and I have noticed a huge difference since starting to target them a bit more. Now this is a pretty difficult muscle group in my opinion to hit. It's very hard for me to feel it. So I wanted to give you guys just a tip of to help you out, something that's been really helping me when I'm in the gym. This may look silly, but if you are working out with somebody, have them tap or just place a finger on your rear delts. It's really gonna help your mind connect to the muscle it's supposed to be working. And since those rear delts are a little bit tricky because you you want to find the difference between working your upper back and your rear delts. This is something that has helped me a ton. I'm repeating the superset for three sets. Remember, take that one to two minute rest in between each set. Another tip on these rear delt pulls, I like to think about pulling my elbow as far away from my body as possible, squeezing the rear delts the entire way through. Keep your elbows up, and then we're going to move into our next superset. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you guys are so sick and tired of seeing this exercise. I call these around the world, but I throw in a shoulder press with them. Now these, I always have to go down in weight. So for here, I'm using 10 pound dumbbells. And by the time I get to the 10th rep, my delts be crying. So on the around the world portion, your palms are going to face away from you. Once you reach the top, head straight into a shoulder press finish the rep. I want you to be very careful and protect your shoulders here. 
so you can kind of tell on the around the world my arms are slightly in front of me rather than straight to the side I am also keeping a slight bend in my elbows. This has just become a habit. I feel it protects my elbows and has made a huge difference in my elbow and joint health. Now to finish off this super set, I'm doing a side to front dumbbell raise. Now this guy is a bit painful, so I would suggest lowering your weight as well. You can see me just about dying here. Keeping your palms facing down, not using a lot of body weight here, really pull through just the delts. I'm raising them to the side, forward, back down. That is one rep. Now I am repeating this superset for two more sets, a total of three, and then we are heading into our final exercise, which is not a superset, it's a rear delt burnout. Now this is a rear delt burnout. Remember, we are working on building rounded, complete, shoulders so i'm ending off with this rear delt movement you're going to want to use a light dumbbell i'm doing five forward side and backward rear delt straight arm pull so each movement should once again be focusing straight on the rear delts really connect the mind to the muscle i'm doing five forward five sideways five back repeating for five back side and forward that is one round and then we are repeating that one more time and that completes the entire workout you want to be in a bent over position so you can really hit the rear delts keeping your core tight and have a stance that will keep your balance intact i hope that you guys enjoyed this workout as always i will leave the entire workout in the description box below everything you need to know sets reps names that I make up because I don't know all the real names sometimes. Okay, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, I will see you next time. Love you. Okay, see ya. Have a good workout. Let me know how it goes in the comments below.